everybody, meet my nemesis, oil pastels, oil pastels, meet viewers, me, meet paper, paper, meet me and viewers and my nemesis, oil pastels. And uh, yeah, is everyone fully acquainted? Everybody? Great. It's the Lily Factor. Ding! For everyone uninformed, and if my intro was not clear enough, I do not like these one bit. Oil pastels are probably the only art supply I could really say I despise. Acrylic paints used to be on that list, but I actually kind of like them now. So I'm hoping that the same thing can happen here with the oil pastels. So today I'm getting out some really tan paper because <laughs> the more vivid the colors, the better, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to use these oil pastels here on this paper, not on my desk. I wanted to use them on my desk, but <laughs> you know, it's a white desk, so it, it wouldn't show. Okay, that yellow's not really showing, so I'm just gonna use this brighter skin tone here. I've actually only used oil pastels one time this year. I am interested in trying chalk pastels though. I hear those are better. Ugh. See, I don't even have to like, they barely touch my desk and they get all these smudgies on them. And I don't even know where this is going. Like I can't see even though I'm placing it down. Like it's not going on the places I, I'm trying to get it on. <laughs> Oil pastels take a very special collection of people and I am not one of them. I am not liking this in any way, and I just don't even want to finish it, so we'll move on. Well, let's just do something that kind of flows. Give a long neck. Not really my favorite kind of style. So, like, what if they're wearing some sort of, I don't know, something, and then it just kind of like stretches out like a cloud. Look at that. Look at us doing some sad profiles today. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking this better. Maybe I should just do a bigger. Okay, maybe some purple. <laughs> I'm not even bothering to swatch it, to swatch these. I just, I know in my mind how I feel about these and taking that time to care about them, it's just not for me. It may sound pretty harsh, my, my opinions of these oil pastels, but it comes from a long line of pain and heartache that causes such emotion. But I mean, I did warn you guys, they are my nemeses. Lighten it up with, we'll do yellow since <laughs> I don't trust white. And why did I not even think that it would make it green? What was, like, what was that thought process, Lily? <laughs> you know, the one time this year I actually did use them and it turned out fairly decent and I did enjoy it. Not today. There is nothing to enjoy here. I really hate these. <laughs> okay, red. Just so you guys know, I don't typically have this kind of process <laughs> for any any drawing. I am just that angry with these. There's a nose, making it clear, okay? Nose, Lily, nose. Don't draw away from that, nose. Oh, since we're using red and I'm slightly annoyed, let's just draw my <laughs> face right now. I'm actually smiling, it's funny. I'm really annoyed, but I'm smiling. <laughs> Sounds slightly cynical. <laughs> this is a slightly masculine face and I gave them girl eyes. We're trying to masculine ties. Is that a word? How do you say like I'm trying to make this masculine <laughs> without saying I'm trying to make this masculine in the eye section of the drawing? <laughs> there is no normal way to say this, okay. <laughs> Someone needs to come up with a better drawing vocabulary for people like me. It's a really feminine neck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't even draw guys right today. Gah. Well, technically this was supposed to be a girl, so. <laughs> it's not necessarily that I'm drawing them wrong. I just noticed, okay, they have like a male kind of head shape. I don't know. Let's give them like spiky hair. <laughs> this is like such a, so annoying. Okay, no, like a dude. Spiky hair. Clearly, like, look at the quality of this. Oh my gosh. You, I must say though, like, the color comes out really nice. It's hard to make him look masculine when he's got pink on his skin. Okay. This is annoying. Um, I, pro 
promise there was a time when I drew something fairly decent out of this. Okay, I'm gonna go off and just do something abstract. I admire people who can actually draw decent things with these. I do. They are just incredible people. Let's give them a nuff roll. Ooh, let's do some thick sideburns. Are we drawing Gibson? I don't know if anyone understands what I mean by Gibson, but we'll just leave that TV reference out in the air. See what people think. Did Gibson have thick sideburns though? I don't think he did. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember it. what did this guy look like <laughs> since I claiming this looks like him. It does make me want to give him like, <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm sorry guys. Just haven't found a way to make these work with my style. Ooh, that blended well. <laughs> one thing I'm already learning is they can only work for like one layer. You know, they just, they only only you get like one shot to blend the colors. Okay. I'm actually gonna use a dark brown. Where's a yeah, this is a dark brown. Just <laughs> shade in those curls. Why does this look like five-year-old's heart? Although the head is quite masterful. <laughs> yeah. Like that. <laughs> Bro, what was I even doing? Alright, Gibson. Yeah, that's right, because Gibson doesn't actually have brown hair it's black i mean i knew that going in but this is all to get that nice mm, rendered look oh so i guess i'm not gonna make eyes green maybe what am i doing Am I even in my right mind? I'm drawing in oil pastels. I'm not in my right mind. Everybody look away for your own good. Just don't even look at this drawing. Well, that one's definitely the best of the bunch at the moment. I do like that one. I'm gonna name him Fernando. It's funny, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go for something abstract and I draw Gibson. And I'm like, I'm going back to drawing Sane since I drew that Sane and then I'm drawing whatever this hot mess is. Ooh, gray goes on top nicely. I think there's some sort of color scheme thing that goes on with oil pastels that I haven't quite figured out yet. But it's like you have to add specific colors that you would never add otherwise on top of each other to get that nice shading you want. Okay, that's something. It's not totally cringy, but it's near there. I think his hair is like a fireball. Well, you know, this is turning out fairly decent. <laughs> See, why can't I have started off this good? I could have warded off like, you know, who knows how many people because <laughs> I started off so cringily. <laughs> well, you know, define good, right? <laughs> oh, pastels, they are something, something else. Okay, moral of this drawing study is even the art supplies you hate, you can't quit on, sadly. There we go. That's better. You know what? This is actually kind of cool now. Although looking at a certain angle, that face looks kind of smooshed. What happened? It's like smooshed in the chin section. There we go. Smoosh gone. Hi, so yeah, basically um, a vacuum cleaner started running and there's really not a pleasant way to avoid that noise. So I'm just kind of speeding up what I did here. I just added some colors to the background and I used like an orange kind of around the character to give it some sort of gradient, I guess. And I of course avoided coloring over Fernando because he's uh, Fernando. I, I, I. And then I colored over that scribble mess with blue. I could have edited that out, but bloopers. <laughs> Sometimes they're worth keeping. And I mean, older me's gotta remember this and be like, oh, well, it's funny. <laughs> also, um, 
yeah, just, yeah. So anyway, I am now kind of going over like a new character, he's a blue dude, and I was like coloring his hair, and the whole time I was thinking, it's kind of like a marshy hair color version of like young Justin Bieber's hair. It was kind of funny. And uh, yeah, so he's really blue. The longer I do this slightly, I like it better. <laughs> oh, this is black? It is. I didn't even realize that. I thought this was a brown. I must be losing my brain. Is that like a side effect? Warning, oil pastels cause brain loss. This dude is totally green inspired. It's kind of making me queasy. But what does this slate gray look like? I'm curious. Kind of looks bluish to me. Probably is. Now that's gray. It's legitimately gray. Just so you guys know, slate gray, that's legitimately gray. And I just drew background in the same color as Fernando and he's washing out. Sorry, Fernando. Yeah, it just needed to be outlined a little bit more. <laughs> okay. This side is a little jumped. We should do one more thing. And we should call over dear Fernando. Poor little Fernando. I drew right over Fernando. Yeah, it's mean and cruel, I know. Cause I drew, 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 drew over Fernando. Like, yeah, sketching in this is kind of fun. That is really exaggerated. <laughs> I'm getting too loose with oil pastels. Okay, uh, he needs a ball cap. I'm thinking ball cap, don't judge. And then we'll make it backwards. I don't have positive feelings about this one. <laughs> but hey, we're drawing, right? That's what's important. Yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, but of course I said that about all the other ones and here we are, so you never know. You never truly know. And then we'll give him a cool dude's sweatshirt. Okay, I just ran out of time, but I can't stop filming. Cause like I have a timer set and it went off, but I'm still drawing, help me. Okay, that's basically graffiti. I graffitied my own art. Oh, righty. Sometimes when you're using oil pastels, you lack wisdom. <laughs> Why did I add green on the eye? Why? And on the nose. I did not put that green in anywhere useful. I just saw it and I was like, oh, pretty color, happy. And then I just, I lost it. <laughs> I lost all sense of reason. Okay. I am putting these down and out. Really gotta get going. Ah, holy. Okay. Short for factor. <laughs> okay. This is everything. So, yeah. Moral of this, if you hate oil pastels, give them a try. <laughs> I did. Here we are. Um, that was not improvement, but, you know, we were in a rush. So, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it. Try oil pastels, even if you hate them, because they actually can be kind of fun, despite how annoying and messy and angry they may make you... To, they may make you may get by using them they're still great what i started off saying i hated these and now i'm saying they're great you guys are mind controllers so anyway here's the mess oh wow i'm like my hands are dyed new colors <sighs> and my desk is a mess <laughs> okay so here's the finished piece thank you everybody for watching good luck in life and an art. Bye!